Hi everybody, my name is Howard. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, WBIG TV, where we do all kinds of things. Today we're working on cars, as we've been for a few days. And if you've been following along, um, thank you. Uh, we, we got the ZR1, the 1999, 1990 rather, Corvette ZR1 that I purchased new. Uh, we took it out of mothballs and uh, got it back on the road. Every, it's out on the road. Everything went fine. The air conditioning's working uh, that we were fixing, and the motor's running pretty good. It's a little, little bit of rough idle, but, um, but I kind of expect that because uh, it could use a little more, little more tuning, a little more attention. But, uh, but it's pulling good power, so... It's uh, all in all doing well. But anyway, we've, uh, as you notice, this is not the uh, Corvette ZR1. Oops, failed to connect a server. All right, well, we'll just. Haven't even. Where's the camera? We're really. Here we are. We're just trying to get set up here. We. Uh, just got the other car out of the out of the bay off the scissors lift and I've got another favorite car of mine on the lift already before I had a chance to really uh, discombobulate the shop it's really a mess from uh, doing the ZR1 job there's just just stuff everywhere and I was going to spend the day cleaning it but I didn't instead I moved this car, got it out of a garage that I had it stored in all winter. Figured, well, I might as well throw it right up on the scissors, scissors lift while, while everything's opened up. And uh, I'll clean the shop tomorrow, I hope. So uh, what we've got here is a car I've had for, how long have I had it? This will be, uh, I've had it for a, a year or two. I got one complete year out of it. This was starting the second year. It's a Z24. And uh, people are surprised I like this car so much. I really do like this car. It's just a great car to live with. I mean, I could drive this car every day. And in the summer, I, I try to. It's a convertible. It's got the 2.4 twin cam engine, which was... A really good motor. I mean, it's this thing is is quick. It revs beautifully. It's got the uh, five speed or whatever it is. I can't even remember. Fun to a lot of fun to drive, and it's a convertible. And one of the nice things about this convertible is it's a lazy man's convertible. So you can put the top up and down just by reaching up, moving one lever. You don't even have to shift in your seat or release any latches. And, and it just happens quickly, up and down, so you can literally do it at, at a red light if you decide you want the, the top uh, down or up. Because otherwise, I don't do it. You know, you, you want to run into a store and you don't want to leave the top down or, or something. So you don't... you. So you don't put it down at all. You just drive to the store with the top up. So this solves that problem. And it's just a, just a great car. It's very comfortable. This thing holds an unbelievable amount of cargo. I'll hook up a better camera angle next time. But uh, I put a 10-foot a pipe that I needed for my building like a inch and a half inch black pipe, you know, that you for like carrying big gas lines, that kind of pipe, 10 foot. And I was able to put it in this car so that from the, from the outside of the car, looking at it, you wouldn't even know there was a 10 foot pipe. I mean, that wouldn't even fit in my smaller truck. In fact, it wouldn't even fit in my 
flatbed dump without sticking out the back a couple feet off the bed. This went in the trunk and then over the back seat folded down between the front seats and then into the leg room of the passenger side. Amazing. You know, didn't even interfere with the top. What's nice about this is the top doesn't fold into the trunk. It folds into, um, you know, a metal enclosed space just for, just for the top. So you don't have to worry about anything in the trunk interfering with the top and vice versa. So we got a few jobs to do on this car that we're going to, I'm not going to start them today unless, unless I do a little polishing. But uh, the rear window of the convertible top is falling out. So it's not protected from the weather. And the rear defroster, of course, doesn't work because of that. The contacts are broken. The uh, convertible top started acting up a little bit at the end of last season where you got to give it chiropractic adjustments to get it to move all the way sometimes if you hear a thud. So I'm going to open it up and, and figure that out and fix it. And the air conditioning, running theme with my cars, the air conditioning never worked um, since I bought it, except for about a day. I, re I recharged it and put some, some dye in it, and it worked for a day or two and stopped. So I think it's the evaporator, which I think is inside the dash on this car, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to want to do that. And uh, other than that, I could live with everything else for, for a season, you know. Um, Oh, yeah, I want to change the front brake lines. The rears were done by the previous owner. The fronts, they're probably fine, but they look rusty and, and scary. So it's on my mind when I'm driving the car. The brakes are great, but I'm going to uh, throw some copper-covered uh, uh, steel lines in the front. I've got all the stuff I need to do it in stock. And... Uh, it would just be a good idea to do that. That way I could stand on the brakes without wondering if they're going to let loose. So that's a little uh, something to give you an idea of what we're up. We got in store for the next few days. And we're going to also start to split our duties with uh, our universal uh, rapid deployment booth project, which uh, we got to start moving along. It's May 1st. We have to have it ready for its first mission, which is to be an ice cream parlor and uh, downtown Buffalo in, you know, soon, right? In June, we want that rolling. It's May 1st. So, uh, so we got to get that built, and we also have got to get it uh, all approved by the county health department. Everything else is done. You know, we've got a lot of infrastructure done on it. And we've got the city approvals, so so we're gonna we're gonna be really moving here at the shop, as well as uh, more and more downtown at the old house downtown. We're gonna bring you along for the ride. So that's it. We're not doing anything today except blabbering about what what we're gonna do. So thanks for keeping. Uh, abreast of what we're doing here at WBIG TV and uh, we'll see you again very soon. Take care.